much to New York City that we could never fit it all into one series so we will be back next year however we managed to capture the essence of the city in a few shots round and about Manhattan so enjoy these for now Marcus, what are you doing? I'm trying to find the URL for our show. Why don't you just Google it? So Paul, what have you thought of our stay at the Crown Plaza HY36? I think that the service has been impeccable. I think it's a great location. The room is superb. No complaints whatsoever. And a big shout out to Erica and Matt who looked after us so well throughout our entire stay. They were absolutely awesome. And attached to the hotel is the restaurant Burgerology, and we have eaten there a couple of times, haven't we, Paul? Yes, it was always pretty good food, and 
and the service was top notch. Yes, we had a meal one night and then we ordered a breakfast room service another morning. So all in all, I would highly recommend the Crown Plaza HY36. HY stands for Hudson Yards, so that's the area it's in, and 36 stands for 36th Street. And the actual location block-wise is 36th and... 8th and 9th Avenues. So there you go, that is the location. It is a great spot to get to many places, including all the new things that we've seen at Hudson Yards. And there close is... Close to Penn Station. Close to Penn Station. And the closest subway station is the ACE lines at 36th Street Penn Station as well. But there are many other subway lines within walking distance, 5 or 10 minutes. And also, just a few blocks away, is Macy's. At so, Herald Square. At Herald Square. So yes, the Crown Plaza gets the thumbs up from us. I wanna make you shit, make you sweat, make you uh, uh I wanna make you move, make you We hope you're enjoying the show. Please stay tuned for more after the break. I wanna make you shit, make you sweat, make you uh, uh I wanna make you move, make you groove, make you uh Where do you go for great views like this? Our show of course. Ah, absolutely. So please subscribe. So with Manhattan in the background, we have got on a ferry for our final trip of the series. We hope that you have enjoyed our journey to New York over the past month. And we've got some highlights coming up in a moment. But Paul, what was your highlight? Definitely the High Line and some of the food and shopping. And for me, I think it was the Staten Island Ferry and discovering the outlet but of course, I think the main highlight for both of us was catching up with Paul's family. So we're about to set sail on our last little trip to Bay Ridge in Brooklyn. Passengers are getting on board and we'll see you next time. Hi, we're gonna set sail. Well, we have just enjoyed our boat trip to Bay Ridge. And if you're still watching this, you will have thought that the final episode was over. But no, no. this is the final, <laughs> final bit, we promise you. You've probably had enough of us from New York <laughs> by now for the last month. And before us, we can see the fantastic Verrazano Narrows Bridge, which I think we spotted from one of our other episodes earlier on.
please subscribe. of the Hudson River over here. Of course, that's why this area is called Hudson Yards. Um, New Jersey. And New Jersey in the distance. We're only, what, a mile? Less than a mile Less away than from a mile. New Jersey. Yeah, just over there. And I think that area, is it called uh, Weehoken or something? Was it Hoboken? Well, it's just remember. on the weather map. It said that we, <laughs> even though we're staying in Manhattan, that it, it thought that we were in New Jersey. Because that's probably where the closest weather station is. Well, this is Trinity Church in downtown Manhattan, very close to Wall Street. And it's almost like our spiritual home, isn't it, Paul? Yes, this is a church that we always went to when I lived in New York. And it's so peaceful and it's also very, very cool inside as well. Now, I can remember um, one of the many times we came here. It was in December 2001. So this was just after 9-11. And there was a special dedication being made at the church. And the NYPD had invited members of the Metropolitan Police from London over. And we saw several bobbies going in. And it was basically, it was a memorial service for the uh, emergency services, for all those who helped on 9-11. Because at this point, we are very, very close, only a few yards from Ground Zero. And Trinity Church, and its sister church, I suppose, its companion church, which is St. Paul's, which is further up Broadway, not too far. It's known as the little church that stood because it withheld 9-11 only being a few yards away as as did Trinity and you can see the flag is flying behind us we have some security to go through to get in now so I'm not sure if we're airport security air, airport style, style security so I'm not sure if we'll be able to film inside but it is an absolutely phenomenal building inside and out and we come here every time we visit New York Well, we've got through the security and it's one of the very few places uh, that we've come across in New York that still requires masks, so uh, they gave us one each. Um, it's just marvellous to be in here and it's a very hot day while we're visiting, but it doesn't need its, you know, uh, electrical air conditioning. It's got its own perfectly natural air conditioning built in. It's lovely and cool in here. So Paul is now going to say a prayer. Thank you. 
Look, Marcus, we've made it. This is another one of our old haunts. We've been coming here for over 20 years to the Waverley restaurant. It is a typical diner. Now, we haven't been here for five years, so we're hoping that it hasn't changed too much because it really did have a traditional feel of an old style diner with absolutely superb service and excellent food. So let's go in and take a look. Marcus, I was really bad. Oh no. I ordered a pizza burger deluxe. It comes with chips and also um, onion rings. You know, if I am gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, right? So it's everything in moderation. I'm not always gonna order it, so it's not gonna be that bad, is it? I have ordered a single egg scrambled with bacon. Oh my God, if the bacon is what it used to be like, it is to die for. It would be American streaky bacon, just nicely crisped up. Now I could either have got it with hash browns or with uh, fries and toast. Now, the thing is the hash browns over here, it's more like um, sauteed potato. Sauteed potato. So it's not like a, a hash brown as you'd get in the UK. But I wanted the toast, so I had to get the fries with it as well. And I've got a Diet Coke. Paul's got a ginger ale. So I haven't ordered a beer, even though I was really tempted to do so. I think I'll have one or two later, so yeah. And we're just going to get the full Waverly experience here today. Wow, look at this. So I've got my scrambled egg, my bacon as I remembered it my fries and over here I've got my buttered toast with Smucker's Concord grape jelly yay doesn't this look appetizing I have my pizza burger on top I have my gherkin I have some cheese on the on the top side of the bun my lettuce and tomato I have my chips I have an onion ring and I have coleslaw. Yep, this is going to make me go into food coma mode later. So let's dig in, people. Yours looks amazing, Marcus. Well, I want to get started. Okay, be rude, eat. Mm. <laughs> I am. Wow, we're having dessert. We're having the fresh fruit sundae. Thank you. Oh my goodness. And it even comes with a cherry on the top. So, let's tuck in. Rockefeller Center is the headquarters of NBC, one of the main networks in the US. And you can come along to get free tickets to one of the late night chat shows, The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. And it is recorded right in here, along with some of the other major shows that are broadcast on NBC, such as Saturday Night Live.
how juicy this is. Mmm. Mmm, really juicy. This is the first time that I've been at Shake Shack and it's pretty delicious. We are off to the petting zoo next. I wonder what we're going to see there. Some nice furry animals, hopefully. Oh my god. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you want some sanitizer? Okay, thank you. <laughs>